you just like a rock star. Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocket League Trading Prices. Today, we're going to go over some items that have finally stopped dropping in price. The fact that the market has started to level out could mean we might see some increases in prices soon. But first, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. It doesn't take long and you can always unsubscribe later. Thank you. Before we get into the video, we'd like to thank our sponsor on the channel, AOA. Are you tired of buying overpriced items and credits from the in-game shop that you can't even trade afterwards? Well, with a secure checkout and a fast delivery of any purchases, AOA is the place for you. They offer discounted prices on a wide range of Rocket League items and credits, and you can get a further 6% off using our discount code, RLTRADING so make sure to check out AOA from the link in the description. Just over a month ago, the Fast and Furious DLC bundle was added to the item shop, and that was the peak of the market decline. Thousands and thousands of credits were spent on those cars, which sent credit demand through the roof and made almost every item drop in price. But finally, we've actually seen some items stop dropping in price, which is a great sign for the market and the trading community. Let's have a look at the white octane. We will look at the PC and PlayStation graphs because the item has been valued on those platforms for longer. Towards the start of 2021, it was clear that the white octane was only going to go down in price. It dropped from at least 20,000 credits all the way to 10,000. So it's about time that this item leveled out in price and we have recently seen this happen as you can see in the most recent weeks listed on the spreadsheet. Obviously, the same thing has happened with most other colours too, because different variants of the same item tend to follow the same pattern of graph. But there are actually a lot of items that have levelled out now. Even the white fennec has, but sadly that is now worth under 3000 credits, so this item is completely in the bin. I think one thing that would help the fennec's prices rise again is when the next RLCS season starts people will see some of their favourite pro players using the Fennec and it may bring a little bit of the hype back to this item. The problem is, because it was in the item shop, this car took a massive hit and a lot of people already own it. However, if you look at the all-time graph of the white Fennec, you can see it always used to be worth around the value it is now. So as bad as trading might seem at the moment, it's not actually that bad compared to how it has been previously. Between when free to play was released, until a few months into 2021, trading was better than it had ever been, so now it just feels quite dead because it isn't as good as what we got used to. Numbers in the game have been lower than it is currently, so there is no reason why the game can't make a comeback, but we would need to see a big update soon to help the game to recover. I just hope Psyonix and Epic Games are noticing all these videos from the bigger YouTubers, where they're giving suggestions about how the game can progress. But it's not just the game owners and developers that can bring the players back in, it's the community as a whole. I hope people can watch these sorts of videos and go, oh yeah, I used to be a high diamond, let's see if I can get my champ rewards. Or go, I forgot I owned a dissolver, I'm gonna go back to trading and try and get my dream car design. This is what we need the players to do. Like I said, the number of players in the game every day isn't that low. There's often 500,000 people online at one time, which is still making it one of the most popular games going around. It's just not as good as we're used to. But now that items seem to have leveled out in price, it's making trading much more enjoyable for me again, because I can buy an item and not worry about losing a thousand credits overnight. So, if you would like to see a video soon about the best items to make profit with in the current market, let us know in the comment section and I will look into making it. Our LCS items at the moment are just a bit all over the place. They rise a bit and then drop a bit and so are just very unpredictable. All we have to hope is for a solid new set of fan rewards with plenty of the season X rewards being discontinued and the market will really benefit from that. So far, we've still had no news on the items that will be discontinued, and actually we've had no big news about the game as a whole for a while, so I hope they're planning something big, rather than just working on a new DLC car that costs 2000 credits. But I guess we will see. 
they've not even updated the official Rocket League fan rewards page for a long time. Because, according to that, emeralds and the crown avatar border are new items. Let us know in the comment section if you think the rewards will remain unchanged for next season, if they will bring in some new items for it, or if they will recycle older items like Apex and June Racers. I think they will do a mix of new items and already existing ones, but let me know what you think will happen. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing.